country and they want it. Food can be used as a weapon yep. and infamous rulers have, have said so and put that into motion c to control population. Yes, nope. Harry Kim Henry Kissinger. Yep, says it right here. Oh, yep. 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 Who controls the food supply controls the people. Yep. Who controls the energy can control whole continents. Who controls money can control the world. Henry Kissinger. And who's that? The elites, man. All right, the uh, the uh, the so-called one percenters. All right, the, the wicked as elites because because you gotta keep in mind the earth the, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, man. All right, they, listen, they, they got the money, the oil, the gold, everything, man. The whole world is, is changed upside down. Listen, they they got the food. They got the minds of the people, all right? They know where you live, where I live. Yeah, man. You know where I stay. Got your location. Yeah, Who you know else play like yeah, that? Yeah, man. Got your IP address. Esau got it made out here. But but, but guess what? The Lord set him up uh, uh, to do so, all right? That's why it says, uh, 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 he that let him who let. The most, high, the, the most high ordained Esau to do these things, man, and, 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 and to further uh, uh, push prophecy. all right? Yeah, and the Lord's about to uh, um, clean you people up, man. You're going to go through rehab. All right, all right. It's always walking by like clockwork. It always gets off the bus, yep. lights her cigarette. You ain't about to get cigarettes no more. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna try to fucking roll up some coffee, you know, on a piece of paper, man. That proves this is Ooh. Truman Show. You know, it's the same shit. Yep. You know, the right. yep. He said, and there's the the <laughs> the Volkswagen. Like we could call it out. Yep. There she goes. Yep. Cigarette. Yep. <laughs> and then that's the spirit, because when I watch uh certain uh, uh things on TV. I'm waiting for them to throw up the fucking their uh, Baphomet, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for them to throw up that that hand sign or show you a spiritual number. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they do, and they do. You know, and there it is. As I stated back in June of 2020, it's obvious food will be used to manufacture compliance and enslavement. It's obvious that food uh, will be used, all right, to manufacture compliance, man. Meaning what? That that that, that uh, the uh, you're gonna, you're, like you're gonna have, you know, uh, like the. Uh, National Guard, FEMA, or, or somebody of some sort start, start rationing foods, man. Oh, and this so-called Labor Day weekend, you can expect them to hike the cases up. Oh, most definitely. Because a lot of people are traveling, so that's yep. going to say, oh, it's, it's an increase in cases. You got to mandate this. Oh, another thing that's happened is that uh, the schools are being shut down, okay? The, the bus drivers are quitting. That man, shit's about to get all yeah. bad out here, man. Yeah, man. On every level. Can you read that first part where he said, as I what? As I stated back in June of 2020. Now, real quick, uh, Joel 2 and 28. So this man's got the spirit of prophecy on him, man. You you got heathens in the spirit prophesizing more than Israel. That's right. Like um, Balaam. You know, you don't see Elazar prophesizing. Hell no. You don't see the nigga will say you're looking at the prophets, but you ain't prophesizing. You're a false prophet. That's this right. is uh, Joel 2 and 28. And it shall come to pass afterward. That I will pour out my spirit upon all yep. flesh. Right. So, so Yahweh Shema Shai is pouring out his spirit upon the earth, man. Upon the people. Okay, but, but guess what? Uh, us up here, you know, in, in the apostles and elders, we have the spirit of what? Prophecy. You know? We have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Why? The testimony of, 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 of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, our high priest. And it okay. says, And it says, I will uh, pour out my spirit upon all flesh. As I stated in 2020, yep. he got the spirit on him, man. All right? He's in the spirit of watching. Yep. Right. Yep. And it said, because you, you watch, you know the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it says, and your sons and your daughters, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Yep. And your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Hold on, what does prophesy mean? Say before. Say before. Exactly. Right. So we're telling you before it happened, and we're using articles, we're using news and things to prove our points, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. And that's how we know these other groups, they don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't call upon Yahweh Shai. They nope. call upon Christ. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you have comments accounts from YouTube of men and women, you know, uh, giving their testimony about, uh, about the dream they had, you know, uh, uh, based off the second return, a uh, famine, you know, the, the MOTB, basically uh, judgment upon uh, Babylon, man, upon, upon the earth. Yep. All right. As I stated back in June of 2020, it's obvious food will be used to manufacture compliance and enslavement. Right, it's obvious because in last year you had what? Rationing, two cans this, a, 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 two packs of water this, you know, uh, only one roll of tissue, you know. But, but, but guess what? Uh, that's going to come back, but in a, 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 a more uh, a, a intense form, you know. This is the horrible reality of participation and centralization 
and not being able to be self-reliant. Mm -hmm. Now this is the beautiful vision that is supposed for an appointed time. That's right. The NWO doesn't care if you starve. Huh. It cares only that you bow down and consent to a life of enslavement, and they're weaponizing the food system and using the 19 as an excuse. Yep, and guess what said what? The life of, of what? Enslavement. And guess what? People are people here, they, they already bow down, man, but by taking that what? That serpent's juice. And not only what, uh, uh, by getting that, uh, you know, uh, uh, that MOTB, man. Okay, but guess what? Yahweh about Shema Shai has reserved the, the hopeful leg, uh, not to bow down, all right? Uh, took this damn uh, beast system, the, 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 this damn demonic image, man, all right? This place is going to be destroyed, all right? So, uh, all right? so uh, why would you, why would you want to bow down to, to a place that's going to be, uh, you know, uh, 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 brutally destroyed by Yahweh about Shema Shai, you know? And I think it's one more paragraph than that. We got a preset. Whatever, uh, what you uh, I was just thinking about the oh, account with Daniel mm -hmm. because remember the king made an image, so this king's got an image that he wants everybody to bow down to. Mm -hmm. You know? Finish this real quick. Yeah, this is, it's a little more. It says obedience to the government won't save you. Preparedness might get what you can now and stock up before the slumbering masses figure it out. Once people begin to realize what's really going on, things will get ugly, and the ruling class has been upping the ante with the rhetoric since the beginning of the summer. Right, and, and, uh, and what's that chick with trouble? Okay, but, uh, okay, because things are, things right things right now are gonna get very ugly, so what? Let me go get y'all some drink. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm on my go yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. You know, it's hot. Read, read that one part, the last part, I'm gonna make fun real quick. Sorry, slot it. Because right now, people think, you know, that we're just, you know, in a, in a, 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 a peachy and dandy, you know, society. But soon things are gonna, you know, just go left field, man. Says obedience to the government won't save you. Mm -hmm. Preparedness might. Get what you can now and stock up before the slumbering masses figure it out. <laughs> once right. things begin, once people begin to realize what's going on, things will get ugly. Yep, and, and, and that's why the, through spirit, uh, we said earlier that right, the, the, it, 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 it's not going off if, if you get food. Okay, you know, you know, it's stocking up a little bit. You know, you know, you know, being prudent, okay, but it is going off if you, you know, if, if you put your trust, you know, in, in those items, you know, you know, uh, if you put your, your, uh, your, uh, your, uh, your, uh, um, your uh, belief in those items, okay, and, th and that's why you have, you have to, to, uh, uh, to, to put our faith in, you know, not food and water, okay. Right, we're, we're not telling you to doomsday prep, but you do have to go and get what you need. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Don't be stupid, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that was it. That was it. Yeah, you bring it. You said it. All right. I'm going to go back to uh, Genesis. All right. Here with uh, Joseph. Yeah, man. So right now, people think that uh, you know uh, uh, America, you know, is the, is the last stop. But guess what? It's not, man. Because Yahweh Shmuel says it is going to is going to do a great number upon this this this, this, uh, this system. Okay. This system is, is bound to be destroyed, man. Just look at it. You know, like Yahweh Shmuel Shai is, is is like he, he's making a crumble from the inside out. All right. Economically. You know, uh, uh, spiritually and soon to be physically, man. All right. Uh, 37, right? I think it's on the next page. Yeah, right there. This is Genesis uh, 47 and verse 13. And there was no bread in all the land, for the famine was very sore, so that the land of Egypt and all the land of Canaan fainted by reason of the famine right by reason of the famine man. So, 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 so people during that famine in ancient egypt you know the, uh they they uh they they fucking died basically man you know they were famished they were hungry uh, starvation all right the whole dirt it listen it put it, it did a great number upon ancient egypt just like right now all right all right because the uh the uh the the u.s food chain the, the, the supply of food chain is what destroyed man and what's a food chain of a, a supply of food chain is what the uh, uh the uh, process of food production it comes from the uh, the farms then you know the uh, the, uh, the the factories you know and then the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the companies they, they, they go to the, the, uh, the shelves you know and joseph gathered up all the money mm -hmm. that was found in the land of egypt and in the land of canaan for the corn which they brought and joseph brought the money and joseph brought the money into pharaoh's house mm -hmm. now watch this and when money failed in the land of Egypt <laughs> and in the land of Canaan, right, because the dollar's going to collapse, right? That's right. And what's going on in, in Afghanistan right now is affecting the petrodollar. Yep. And a lot of nations, they're making moves 
to not deal with the U.S. oil, the U.S. dollar, and they're making deals amongst themselves. That's right. Like, like Russia and China. Yeah, yeah. For example, you got China. They're working right now on a, 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 a digital currency. You know, so, so certain countries, like, they're not fucking with the U.S. anymore, man. You know? So your dollar ain't worth shit, man. It's not. So you can expect inflation, which is going to lead to hyperinflation. Mm -hmm. And we're already dealing with shrinkflation. Yeah. You know, and that's why that, that, that's why Esau is, is pushing out more, uh, more what, more, uh, uh, more stimmies. Right. Okay. <clears throat> uh, because he knows that you know, uh, 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 he knows that he, uh, he has a short time, so he's just gonna, you know, give give you niggas the money because because he knows that is is like it, it's fucking useless. Which that alone is destroying the economy. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says, and Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan for the corn which they brought. And Joseph brought the money into Pharaoh's house, and the modern day Pharaoh is the, the elites. That's right. So called 1%. Mm -hmm. Right? The shadow government, they call it. The man, 1%. Right. Mm -hmm. And when the money fell in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, meaning that money became useless. Right. Okay, so now what's the next thing to do? All the Egyptians came unto Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence? For the money fell it. Right, the dollar collapsed, man. We can't do shit with it. And Joseph said, Okay, give your cattle, and I will give you for your cattle if money fails. Now, what's happening right now? You got Mr. Kill Bill buying up a lot of foreign land, land in America, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. and what are they doing? They're paying these farmers to euthanize their cattle, to kill and destroy their, their crops, okay, and to waste their milk. Mm -hmm. they pay, they're getting paid more money to do these things than to put their food in the grocery stores, That's man. Right. So, what do you think is going to happen? It says, and Joseph said, give your cattle, and I will give for your cattle if money fell. And they brought their cattle unto Joseph, and Joseph gave them bread in exchange for horses, and for flocks, and for the cattle of herds, and for the asses, mm -hmm. and fed them with bread for all their cattle for that year. And that proves that the, this fiat currency, the, uh, the, uh, the so-called greenbacks, there is useless because... And take much trouble, you're not going to uh, pay somebody to get a, a fucking loaf of bread or, or, or like something. All right, they're gonna want gold, silver, you know, some fucking chapstick, a, a, a bottle of water. Right. Okay, that proves that uh, items have substance. Right. Having land, having cattle, that's real riches. That gold, silver, having to service slaves, that's real riches. You know, but get, but, but, but right now, guess who has that? The elites. You know, and that's why they're the elites on the, on the left hand side of the Lord. You know, but guess what? In, in our kingdom, we're gonna be the elites. All right. We're gonna have the substance, the the, the glory, the, the the slaves and whatnot. But on this side, man, you know, you know, things are gonna that gotta play out on, on a prophetic level. You know, it says when that year was ended, and they came unto him the second year. Remember, there were seven years of famine. Yep. And said unto him, We will not hide it from my lord, how that our money is spent. My lord also had our herds of cattle. There's not off left in the sight of my lord, but our bodies and our Ooh. lands. Wherefore shall we die before thine eyes, both we and our land, by us and our land for bread? So people gonna literally sell themselves to eat. Yeah. And what's that? People taking the uh, the karagma. That's right. Uh, John the Revelator's vision, man. That's okay. right. And, and you taking that karagma, the MOTB, you are uh, you are conforming to the system. All right. And that's why it says in Romans twelve and what's that? Uh, twelve and uh, I believe two. It says don't conform to this world, man. Right. No Esau's world. But guess what? Esau's world is about to end. So why would you want to conform to a word that's going to end a fucking uh, 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 an, uh, uh, an era, an age, an eon? This word is, is crumbling, man. All right? He ain't got that much time left, man. Don't give in. Keep, keep, keep enduring. Keep having faith. Keep fighting, man. Esau is, he's finito. It says, Wherefore shall we die before thine eyes, but we and our land, by us and our land for bread? Mm -hmm. And we and our land will be servants unto Pharaoh, and give us seed that we may live and not die, and that the land be not desolate. Yep. And Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh, for the Egyptians sold every man his field, because the famine prevailed over them, so the land became Pharaoh's. Right. And nobody, you cannot own nothing in America. Right. All this shit belonged unto the elites. You will never own it. Okay. And they actually have a saying that uh, you will own nothing and be happy. Right. Right. It says, and as for the people, he removed them to the cities from the one end of the borders. He Shit. put their ass in the ghetto. Yep. Of Egypt <laughs> yeah. and to the other end thereof. The borders, that's the fucking end. You know, the end of the, the beginning, basically. You know? Yeah. Is that it? 
All right, Bible shot. Can't give me uh, what's that? Second address. Miss says, uh, 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 they shall be weary, but we gonna be joyful. Okay. So I believe second address is that two and eleven. I believe. Uh, you know, because people out here are like, you know, the, uh, you, you got those peppers. You know, <laughs> they stock up for fucking uh, water, canned goods, batteries, guns. You know, but but, but fuck that. Like you know, uh, we don't need weapons. You know, we, uh, we have you about Shmuel Shire. So, so uh, huh? Okay. You know, people out here you know that uh, they they have no faith. They like they, they like faith. Anyhow, about Shmuel Shire, but they having faith in in a uh, gun. You know, uh, 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 water, bread, so on and so forth. Listen, the Lord can. Uh, I'm not I'm good, brother. The Lord can allow that. You know, the Lord can allow them to to uh, to get all those items. You know, stock up, but then they can die. You know, and, and, and uh, ultimately that could be a, a, a given to an, uh, an uh, elect man. You know, that's a pilgrim at that moment in time during Jiggle's trouble. Okay. This is Second Edges two and twenty seven. Get the water twenty seven. Be not weary. See? Yeah, yeah. Be not weary. For when a day of trouble and heaviness cometh, yeah, be not weary. Meaning what? But uh, don't be faint-hearted, man. You know, have faith. It says, "Be not weary, for when a day of trouble and heaviness cometh, mm -hmm. others shall weep and be sorrowful." Yeah, others shall weep and be sorrowful. Meaning what? These people out here, these fucking useless eaters, these peons, these heathens, man. Okay, because uh, because uh, the, the, the Lord is gonna have them die of starvation, get gunned down, uh, you know, uh, 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 get ate up by a damn lion. You know, everything, man. Says, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Right. Listen, we gonna we gonna be merry and joyful in the Lord and, and, and we, we, we be gracious and have abundance. And what's the abundance? The abundance is the people that stocked up. You know, that had everything. You know, they bought before a, 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 a calamity happened. You know, they got everything. Flashlights. You name it. But, but the Yahweh uh, Shmuel Shai can allow that man, they let man, excuse me, to, 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 to come across that and be good, you know. And, and then he, he he can chill, be you know, have he can you know, put that in his bag that he has, you know, take the troubles back, you know, and then just be good, and, you know, until deliverance, man. How, like however the Lord deems a fit, you be good, man. And that's why it says in Psalms. I want to hold that real quick. Give me a Psalm, uh, I believe uh, thirty-seven, <clears throat> in verse like eighteen. It says that it says that in uh, uh, in the days of famine it shall be satisfied. Okay, just feel like it's like my bad. Let me see Psalms thirty. Uh, let's see, probably thirty seven, thirty four, thirty seven, and verse thirty seven, and uh, yep, nineteen. Excuse me. Yep. What? Psalms thirty seven and nineteen. They shall not be ashamed yep. in the evil time, yep. and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Right. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. They mean what? They're not gonna. Uh, they're not gonna be uh, faithless, man. All right. They're gonna. Uh, they're gonna. Uh, they're gonna uh, 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 hold fast uh, 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 that uh, that they have. Once that is truth, man. All right. The names. Uh, the names. Uh, Yahweh by small shot. Water, water, brother. Water, brother. Water. 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 Psalms 37 and 19. Yep. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, mm -hmm. and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Right, they shall be satisfied, man. Okay? The Lord's servants are going to eat, all right? They're going to drink, all right? And, you know, and, you know, and, and sing to the Lord and praise Him because, because they know that he, that he did it for them, all right? And in the evil time of what? Jacob's trouble, all right? Uh, 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 the word evil means what? Bad times. Uh, uh, Eve many time. Ill meaning bad, man. Okay. Back in, uh, yeah, yeah. Isaiah sixty-five. It's Isaiah, hell all out here, man. Oh, Holy yeah. fuck, man! Just to get some bro some water. Yeah. That shit was a fucking traffic, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Demons. Fucking cops, people stealing, cutting you off. That's just cutthroat. And that's one thing too. Fucking Esau is so uh, he, he is damn devil. He fucking sells water. He, he sells water, put it in a plastic bottle, man. Water, put water is free. There was no plastic, uh, plastic uh, 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 um, water in in, 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 uh, in uh, the, the, the time of King David. No, he, was, yeah. You know what I mean? It, well, remember that's how Jacob uh, was. It Jacob got his wife at the well. Yeah. Remember uh, even Moses the well. Niggas now niggas would be demons around the well, but it was a local watering yeah. hole. 
You know, you had local watering pouring, and you went and got yeah. your portion. But then this nigga, he'll, he's, he's in front of it like ID. Right. I right. thought he was gonna ask me for fucking ID for the water. Right. Everybody was going up. He said ID. ID. I'm like ID. What the fuck is going on? Shalom. 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 Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Behold, my servant shall eat. My servant shall eat. Because because right now people are like they're, they're gorging themselves with all kinds of, of abominations, man. You know they're, they're wasting food. You know they're, they're fucking covetous of uh, of food. You know people people are gonna be starving out here. But guess what? We gonna eat, man. All right. Yeah. And that day we are gonna say I got my water. That's right. Right. <laughs> That's right. Says, my servants shall eat. My servants, my sheep. But ye shall be hungry. But ye shall be hungry. People, listen, they're gonna be dying of starvation, man. It says the US food chain supply has destroyed like it. Everything here is, is done, man. Babylon is finished. It's fallen. It's fallen, man. It's fallen. That's right, man. Oh Lord, you have oh, us from our side. Olympus has fallen. That's right. All right. And, and this ain't she can do about it, man. But ye shall be hungry. Mm -hmm. Behold, my servant shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Ye shall be thirsty. And that's all people want to do here is drink, party, and bullshit and eat, man. Okay? They want to drink, they want to drink, drink, drink. You know what I mean? But guess what? They're they going to die of, uh, of being famished. You know? Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Right. Listen, you won't be ashamed because right now we are doing everything we can, you know, with, uh, uh, to serve you how about shot. Okay? So that way, in the, you know, uh, you know, uh, in that day, we shall uh, uh, Lord's will, but you know, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, Lord's will in the eyes of in the eyes of uh, of Shema Shai, you know, uh, will be found. Uh, what's the word? Uh, worthy, uh, worthy the water, you know. But but guess what? In that day, people gonna, people on this earth, they're gonna be found, you know, condemned. You know, that's right. It says, and uh, behold, my servant shall sing mm -hmm. for joy of heart. All right, we gonna praise the Lord. All right. The sacrifice of, of, uh, of our lips, man. Call Lord, call Lord, you have a shy, You know? But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart yep. and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Right, right. <laughs> listen, listen. They're going to be sorely vexed, okay? They're, uh, the, uh, they're in a great, uh, a great and sore dearth, man. All right? Because because why? They deserve it, man. Yeah, dirty D's going to die from the dirt. That's right. They deserve it. I, they deserve it. I got man. a quick precept, though. You know why you niggas going to starve? Because you ain't putting work in. Mm -hmm. All right? This is uh, Israel. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 10. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any man would not work, neither should he eat. Mm. You get nothing. You get nothing, man. So if you a, you a slothful servant, you ain't doing the work, you ain't eating with us. That's right. That's a commandment. So when Paul's going around, if you weren't doing the work, you ain't get a you ain't get lamb and rice. That's right, man. Bringing your ass to council. When he says say, everybody eats beef. Right. But guess what? Uh, uh, niggas that do want to eat, guess what? That's all you want to do is fucking eat. And that's why Yahweh said what? You don't want to hear my words. All you want to do is eat because you know you uh, uh you've seen you know the food. That's day to day, man. They can go to uh, um somewhere that's you know a, a, a speaker you know what i mean but they're not there for for him they're there for the food because it's free and that, and that nigga today man. well that nigga right there he's yeah. just pointing talking about it yep that's the spirit see i see him that's why the most high is going to kill you man that's right the Bye, most man. high is about to about to kill you man Bye, Bye, niggas. see what is it something worldly it matter some said, greek because yeah. whatever he said he's condemned yeah he's marked it's like it. this is isaiah 33 and 15, he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, mm -hmm. he that despiseth the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ears from the hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil, he shall draw on high his place of defense, shall be the munition of rocks, bread shall be given him, his water shall be sure. You got it, brother. So pretty much, man, the most is gonna take care of the elect. That's right. Okay? Because everything I just read, that's the man of the Lord. That's something a man of the Lord would do. All right? A man of the Lord speaks uprightly. He hates oppression. He hates uh, uh bloodshed. Hates I mean, niggas. Wickedly, you know? <clears throat> what, what, what was it more? Oh, that was it. Uh, uh, give me uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4, Bob Bishaw. Okay. Can I read this real quick? Uh, yep. This is John 6 and 26. This is for all you, you, you fucking... Uh, 
uh, you mouth worshippers, you know, <laughs> right. and you fucking Jakes are a piece right. of shit, man. Right. You know, we were, I think we were saying it before camp, like, uh, here it is, you know, Jake, you got one rich Jake, but the rest are poor, mm -hmm. you know, like y'all don't, y'all don't see, you may have a little bit of money, but the rest of your people are through. Mm -hmm. You don't see one rich white man. They all got something, man. So this nigga's proud nigga drove by in some punk ass American vehicle, uh, vehicle and point and looking down on us. You niggas are a piece of shit, man. Right. And, and meanwhile, you got your oppressor oppressing you. You're right. We out here for you. Then he pulls over your stupid black ass and we supposed to say black lives matter. Fuck you niggas, man. When you don't even think we matter. And that's why it says the uh, judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, man. You niggas got to be dealt with first, man. Yeah, and Yahweh Shai Ben was on Jake for that. This John 6 and 26, Yahweh Shai answered, answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you seek me, not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled, man. Not because, not because you seen, you know, the uh, my miracles and heard the words uh, of Yahweh Bashmar Shai, but because you niggas are, are just greedy and, and covetous, man, you know? Labor not, John 6 and 27, Labor not for the meat which perisheth, right? Like us, we're saying use wisdom, you can store up, but we're, we're our, our treasures are in heaven. Right. All right, we gotta eat because of this fucking flesh we're in. You know, we're not eating because it's like, I like that lollipop. Right. We're eating because we fucking have to. Right. We had to stop, you know, I had, we, had, I had, we had to go get water. Right. Because our bodies need it. We're in the sun. You know, while, while kissing the sun, at least you'd be angry. Right. We're on a long journey, man. So you gotta, you know, there's certain things we need and a part of it is bread and water. But the first bread is this, you know? That's right. And it reads, uh, John 6, 27, labor not for the meat which perisheth. Yeah, the shit spoils, man. You Water's got a shelf life. Water's got a shelf life water. because the, the man, uh, the father of lies from the beginning, put it in a de deteriorating vessel that leaks chemicals on you, man. And it reads, Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, mm -hmm. which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him has the Most High the Father seal. That's right, man. And what's that meat? This word, man. All right? The living bread. Okay, this roll. Man. Because, it's, because what did it say? Uh, uh, it's, it's that. It's 833 and 6. It says that uh, by the wisdom and knowledge, it's going to be, it's gonna be the, 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 the uh, stability. Right, uh, of that time. Stability. You know? You know uh, 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 what, what's stability? Uh, you being stable. You being afloat. You, uh, 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 you having a uh, spiritual security, man. People out here, you know, the, uh, they trust, you know, in, in carnal, the carnal food. All right? Food that perish. Yeah, you gotta be a pillar in this thing. Yeah, man. You gotta be uh, ten toes down and ten toes up, man. You gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta stand, man. That's right. You gotta be something that can be stand on, you know. Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, Marar put me on the David Goggins. He was like, you gotta be that man, you know. When when it goes down, that you gotta be, you know. Like we're not Yahweh Shai, but we're being built up as Yahweh Shai, meaning leaders for the people, mm -hmm. our people, you know. Right. Even in our walks, man. Even though niggas are niggas, we refrain from them. But when we're around the regular, our normal people that ain't all jacked up, we present a, um, a good, beautiful image for them, man. That's right. So you got to be a pillar in this thing. And that's what this truth is teaching you. And that's because we're we're earnesting, uh, we're yearning after the, the bread of everlasting life. That's right. You know, all right? We ain't fucking elbowing each other to get the Popeyes, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. Uh, back in Ezekiel, Bible shop. This is Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right, that mark means, uh, in the Hebrew means the, uh, the wah, which means what? Speaks it from judgment. Okay, the men that sigh and cry is what the whole fool elect, man. And, and what do they sigh and cry about? About everything that, 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 that's fucking wicked here in society, man. You know about about the about the abominations about about Esau's wickedness, okay? About 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 the about the uh, the, 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 the soul the, 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 the soul very satanic acts that that go uh, through through all Babylon, man. Everything here is upside down, man. Yeah, okay. Like, like a good example, when you look at this, the Thawa, all right, the sign for Thawa. Now Esau uses uh for a fucking uh wicked symbolism, the the uh the Confederate flag. That, oh, yeah. that, that's an X. That's why a lot of shit be in an X, because this the, the, the Tha 
looks like an X. So Esau uses that shit, man. That's why you see it everywhere, you know? That's, that's how a lot of times you can tell a guy sold out. Look at their merchandise. Shakari merchandise has got at least three Mason symbols on it. All right, the, 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 he's got the two swords. That X is masonry. And then he's got the uh, uh, the, pow the, uh, the triangle power. That's masonry, man. So going back with the brother saying, even even our own culture and language is turned demonic. Man, you, you know, shit. You got you, you got right now. You got heathens uh, 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 claiming to be us. Yeah. You know, so that that right there should look, like that right there speaks volumes, man. You know, keep going, Bob. Show. <clears throat> it says. And to the others, he said, in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, mm -hmm. neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, yep. both maids and little children mm -hmm. and women. But come not, er, come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. And it said, have no pity. Didn't it say that a neighbor, he should have no pity on his neighbor? Right, yeah. So the angels are gonna use you people to kill you people. Mm -hmm. the, the, <laughs> the angels are gonna jump on people and make them strangle children, man. That's right. The angels are gonna, you, the puppeteers are gonna be using you puppets. That's right. Cause it says they go about seeking, you know, mm -hmm. uh, worse than, then they take more. The Lord is gonna send, angels are gonna jump you people. You, some of you people are gonna be skeletors out here, man. And you ain't gonna be able to die cause, and then they leave your body. So, you know, you yeah, you'll have chariots and actual angels, messengers of wrath and death, but angels are gonna jump on you people. You Christians know that? You Christians know that the Bible says that the angels are, are bringing God's wrath? That's right. The angels are bringing the wrath of God That's right. on you people, man. Christianity you know is false, all right? That's right. It's a disnomer. Y'all Bashmir is about to bring wrath to this place and it's gonna be used with you people. That's right. You people are gonna be used as tools for wrath. That's right, man. Was, was it more than that? Uh, <clears throat> Not even second edge 16. Second edge 16 because right now people, you know, like they don't know that wrath is coming, you know? And guess what? That, that wrath is not, is not going to be turned back, you know, uh, from them, okay? B because uh, uh, once that judgment is sent out, guess what? That's it, man. All right? You, you people are, like I said, I keep saying through spirit, you're where you are, open season, dog food. Yeah. All right? You, you, <laughs> it's, 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 people, people are here are going to be dung upon the, the, uh, the, the face of the earth, man. All right, just dead bodies lying everywhere in the street, you know. And you know, dog food is is easily accessible. Mm -hmm. It's vulnerable and yep. it's and it's it's scourged up. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. that's how it's gonna be. It says that uh, a lion, uh, the destruction waiteth as a lion. Yep. You know, uh, where do you want me to start, brother? Second Andrew sixteen. You can start from the top. <clears throat> the point is, uh, I wanted uh, verse um, it's like in verse nine. Second Ezra sixteen and one, and it reads, "Whoa." Unto thee Babylon and Asia. Yep. Woe be unto thee Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with the cloth. And I gotta say this in the spirit. Ooh. It says, Woe to you, Asia. Remember, Yahweh Shai gave John the vision of the churches in Asia Minor. Yep. So in the spirit, woe to you false camps. That's right. Destruction. What you gonna do when the <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do when the building you went to sign the 501c3 is gone? You know, Jake, no, you got it, bro. You read it from the top. Yep. Again? Second Ezra 16 and one. 